Before I get started, I want to throw a shout out to K9 Sportsac for sponsoring this video. Check out the description for 10% off K9Sportsac.com. So I've been getting a few people ask about how I did the powertrain upgrades on the Chang Li car project. So this is a quick video on how I modified the axle to accept different motors, mainly because the stock one is just, it's only one kilowatt. That's just not enough. What is this, a motor for ants? It should be at least three times bigger. Anyway, the way it's designed now, it has like a helical gear coming off the motor and it goes into the um, differential assembly and it's really hard to work with. I think one of the best things you could do with this is try to find a different differential that had a better output to attach to. I didn't have an unlimited budget on this project, so I kind of wanted to work with as many parts as I could that already came with the car. And in the end, I don't know, maybe I'll have to upgrade the axle anyway. If I start throwing a big gas engine on this thing, and throwing too much torque on that shaft, it might just bend it. One of the goals I had in starting off on this project was not to permanently damage anything or do anything that I couldn't turn back if I didn't like the result. All the stuff that I did in this video is reversible. As long as you don't mess anything up too bad with a hammer or cut too many wires. So what I did was take the screws out of the caps on the ends of the motor. I set up some blocks of wood so that I could pound the shaft through the magnetic core on the motor and I was able to just get it out without wrecking anything, luckily. This way I was able to use the, the housing from the original motor as kind of like a bearing assembly, and it had a fan on the end shaft of the motor, so I was able to use that to attach whatever I wanted to onto it. As you can see in the video, I started off with a belt drive, but it was too wimpy a belt drive. The chain was so much beefier and easier to work with that I decided to go that route. On this setup, I'm running a Kelly motor controller which has way more power than this motor can actually handle. The motor I'm using on this is a three kilowatt, supposedly, brushless DC motor from Amazon. There's a link in the description, but you can find these all over the place. They're made for go-karts and scooters and whatnot. I actually use a very similar motor on my MX500 Razor little electric dirt bike that's running twin 40 volt Ryobi batteries and I'll probably be posting videos of that later. That little dirt bike is one of my favorite tiny dirt bikes ever. I'm still working on trying to fit a Harbor Freight engine into this thing. If you want to stay up to date on my chain Lee modification project, please like and subscribe to this video and actually leave me a comment down below and tell me what you want to see happen to this thing. In the end, a bunch of people are going to have better ideas than just one. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.